remember it just being really exciting to fall in love with him. Ian could get serious if need be, but humor was the basis of pretty much any conversation. Good. It was just fun to be together, to be around somebody that had that much life. Good morning, lovey. I made you waffles and coffee. Uh, what? I'm your lovey. I'm your lovey. You must love me. I must love you? Yeah. I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We developed that on September 21st, 2006, which was nine days before your accident. Ian and Larissa Murphy met in college and fell in love. Their Christian faith, a daily commitment to Christ, had always been at the heart of their relationship, and they planned to get married as soon as they finish school. Remember that one? That's from the lake, too. But 10 months into their relationship, on his way to work, Ian lost control of his car and veered into oncoming traffic. Ian spent months in a coma with a traumatic brain injury. When he finally woke up, the man Larissa loved was now trapped inside a damaged brain and a broken body. It's great. It's great. <laughs> there's intense grief and there's intense pain. And I would have moments of struggling with, God, why us? Are we being punished for something? To know wisdom and instruction, to understand words of insight. One of the hardest things is just watching couples walk together and hold hands. And I'll look at that and think, I'll never do that. Sometimes, like, I come home and I feel like all I see is the brain injury instead of seeing a man who loves me. It is an unimaginable trial for a young couple, a test of their love and a test of their faith. They're really hard days, but I knew that God was the source of my love for Ian, and my hope was in that. How do you not get angry or bitter at God, Ian, for your brain injury and for having to work so hard each day? There are people that have a worse time than you. That's a... Good job. You're almost to your seat, love. Good job. As Christians, Ian and Larissa believe that Jesus teaches them how to live with compassion and love unconditionally. Through his broken body on the cross and his resurrection, they have hope beyond the troubles of this world and the promise of eternal life. Praying, worshiping, looking at what scripture says about how we're to live our lives is so important because Jesus gave us an example of love when he died for us. Can you pray for Ian? Yeah. Yeah. Any, anything specifically or just... That'd be easy on me. Yeah. I prayed a lot and just tried to cast it on the Lord. Like, if this is not what my future is to be, just take away this love. I didn't fall out of love with him and I didn't stop loving him. And I knew he wouldn't leave me if the role were reversed. Four years after the accident, Ian and Larissa decided to get married. If we set to make of marriage mainly what God designed it to be, no sorrows and no calamities can stand in our way. Ian, you may now kiss the bride.
It is my pleasure to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Ian Murphy. It felt like this really beautiful mix of gaining the sorrow, but it also was a wonderful thing to be able to enter into someone's life like that and to walk beside them. What I've learned about God and what I've learned about our capacity to love is so rich. Ian, why did you want to marry me? <laughs> Can you answer that a different way? You said it's the only way that we could have sex yeah, yeah. once we were married. Yeah. <laughs> And there's the real side of Ian. Uh, uh, Welcome. <laughs> you don't have a PG answer? Uh, you be around me all the time. I'd be around you all the time. Uh, I think from like a 10,000 foot view, it can seem like I've just given up all this stuff for Ian and have sacrificed so much to be with him, when really I need Ian just as much as he needs me.